I thought we'd come out and do something different tonight and check out the Walthams. That's Cross versus Abbey. So let's go check them out. There's always a way out. Surprise, surprise. Another massive bus garage. I think I'm gonna make it. Just a boat. You, you didn't see that. These one-way streets are all going the wrong direction. Who built this town? There's an old cannon. The last resting place of King Harold II. Now that's old. That's some history right there. Looks like a spaniel gone wrong. Found him, 1066. It's a mess. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's not even bothered. What the hell is that? It's an evening after work. Everybody's keen to get home. It's nearly the weekend. And just up ahead here, we've got Waltham Cross itself. I've been through it a couple of times, and that's about it. What do you think so far, eh? Exciting? <laughs> he thinks so. <laughs> Everybody's having a beer on a Friday night. And this is the Eleanor Cross of Waltham Cross. One of only three left. This is a BMW. It's not relevant. This is the cross, the Eleanor Cross, which gives this place its name. Stood here since 1290. Erected by King Edward I in memory of his wife, Eleanor. And he built 12 of these around the country that were built in places where her coffin rested on the way from Lincoln to Westminster Cathedral. And this is one of only three left standing. That's pretty impressive, I reckon. I think there's some football on tonight. There's the police preparing for an evening shift. Am I going to get done? Let's see. Shall I push my luck? Wow, oh, this place is deserted. So where do we go? Who's got any ideas? So we need to find us a bit of residential area and some alleys to go explore, I reckon. All right, residential Waltham Cross. What do we think? First impressions, hmm. It's kind of normal, but you know, it doesn't have that luxurious feel about it. I have no clue where I'm going. All right, see if I can get out around this way. Uh, yes, follow the alleys. There's always a way out. Which way shall I go? My nose says left. Oh, back onto the high street again, I think. Came past here earlier. Surprise, surprise, another massive bus garage. I think that's about the extent that I want to go exploring around Waltham Cross. Dodgy roundabout. I think I'm gonna make it. Just a boat. We're good. Now I wanna go down here for some strange reason. Just because I feel like it. I'm going against the arrows yet again. You, you didn't see that. And, and you can't see this. Oh God. And we'll do it again. Oh for God's sake. Who built this town? These one ways are all going the wrong way. Can I get out there? Yeah, dead end, even for me. Struck out this time. Let's try up here. Oh, come on, not another dead end, surely. Double whammy. There's a no entry sign down there. Looks perfect for me. You didn't see that. Come on, give me a break. Hopefully not this white van driver. I'll let him through. I don't trust that road. Well, I knew I shouldn't have trusted this trust road. I always take a lovely bit of dual carriageway, wrestle with the fast cars from one Waltham onto the next. Essex, there you go. We've just ridden to Essex, how about that? <laughs> and this, the Royal Gunpowder Mills. I'll tell you a bit about that, shall I? Somewhere behind me, we've got the Gunpowder Mills, a factory opened in the 17th century where they started messing around with gunpowder and that sort of thing. No doubt Guy Fawkes got some inspiration from the place. And in 1787 it was sold to the government. So it remained in use until 1943. In 1945 it became a bit of a centre for gunpowder and explosive research and it eventually closed in 1991. And that was it. Now I don't know I very private but I'm sure I can go and have a quick nose around. So let's see if there's anything left of the place. Maybe it's been blown up. Of course the factory itself is here situated in the Lee Valley and it's right next to the, the Lee Valley Canal which is here so obviously that would have played a part 
in the development of gunpowder and I don't know methods of transport maybe and of course at some point it was a high value target during the Second World War the Germans did launch a V2 rocket over here didn't hit the plant but it did kill a lot of people in the area I think I can go in can have a very basic look around there's an old cannon wow there is an old cannon what's left of a cannon and in there by the looks of it there's a lot more of it actually this place might be worth a visit one day I think I'll come back another day and do it properly but there's a cannon so they say the body of King Harold is buried somewhere in the grounds of Waltham Abbey because of that there's a whole lot of significance about the area so let's go and have a little look at Waltham Abbey and see if we can find anything historic there we go the last resting place of King Harold II I didn't know there was a first follow that pizza boy yep. uh, in between the scooters right into Waltham Abbey itself and there it is the Abbey history right there right next stop come to think of it I went to a wedding there once what's it all about I don't know Harold II Battle of Hastings body brought back here buried in the ground somewhere ah, I don't know churches let's see so what have we got it says there have been several churches on the site one of which was King Harold's church consecrated in 1060 now that's old that's some history right there look at my hair looks terrible Eh? Looks like a spaniel gone wrong. <laughs> anyway, you will find a memorial to King Harold in the grounds behind the east end of the church. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see if we can find that. Actually, it would be pretty cool to find old Harold's grave. Look at all these on the sides. I can feel the history. You can feel it here. You really can. That's history right there. Look at that arch. Right, we're on the Harold Trail. We're looking for clues. Okay, uh, well, it probably says it on that board, but I ain't gonna fall for that. No, 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 we're gonna look for it. Looks like it's been extended over the years. Okay, so Harold, the last Saxon King of England, was killed in the Battle of Hastings on the 14th of October, 1066. That's a long time ago. Oh, there he is, getting killed. For you, all your history buffs, Harold was crowned in 1066 I said that like shit. Let's say it again. Harold was crowned in 1066. His coronation and death were depicted in the Bayou Tapestry, which was embroidered by English women at a later date. If you like your history and a bit of Anglo-Saxon stuff, this is the place. Look at that. I've never seen a coffin cover like that before. It's like a mummy. And what's this? This looks pretty serious. Found him. Harold, King of England. Old Victory 1066. This is impressive stuff. Get yourself to Essex. So what's going on? Now we've got to check out the area. Yeah, we're doing a bit of death today. Death and history. Is that all right? This is quite nice, isn't it? People relaxing, having a walk, walk the dogs. The odd weirdo graveling on his bike. Just, just, just have a read of that yourself, all right? There you go. Have a look at that. Have a look at that. Pause the video. Check that out. There you go, there's some more history. It's all there. There's a bit more down here. This looks good. Ooh. Cloisters. There you go, cloisters. Look at that. It's like where in the movies the gangsters would come and lock people up. Give them a good shoeing. Get them to tell them where the drugs are. I am suitably impressed. Ain't this peaceful? Alright you guys, alright? Don't disturb you. Much. Oh, there's a big rat. See that? It's a mess. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's not even bothered. And what have we got here? A couple of swans and some Sesame Street ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, what's going on? Oh, we can ride around a walled garden. What a result. Peter Garden? No. So this is an old forge from 1200 AD. The Bloomery Forge was used to smelt iron ore and to produce metalwork needed for the abbey and its farm. Come to Waltham Abbey. It's full of history and rain clouds. 
This is great, look at this. Ooh, over the bridge. I love it. And out of the walls. It's beyond my skill level at the moment. Look at that. It's a f***ing AC Cobra. Right, I said I'd go left, so left it is. Totally making this up, as you know. What the hell is that? Passing you. This could be promising. Yes, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Right. Let's have a little look in here. Bloody hell, they're different. Ooh, the limbo, that one. When do you see round roofs on blocks of flats? Oh, this is a bit different. Right, this is massive. <laughs> oh, that's got the scars factor. Oh yeah. Don't know where to go. Oh, round hills. I wonder if that's to do with these roofs. Look at that. Hello, tiger. Look at this. It's got a bit of that Tottenham feel about it. Look at all these stairwells. That's what we're going to do today. Oh, the chip shop, of course. Perfect. Be nosy, learn something. Look at the yellow Scooby. Oh, it's a Mitsubishi. <laughs> Got that wrong. Oh. <laughs> he likes his fast cars. That is a Scooby. Well, I think I probably better make my leave now. If at all possible, I better find my way out of this maze. Here comes the ice cream van. I'll have a 99, please. Either flake and some raw resource. I can't get out. There's an Australian ute. What the hell's that doing there? I'm back here again. I'm back in the same spot. <laughs> Whoever designed this place took a degree in ugliness. I mean, come on, these places are truly ugly. I was just here five minutes ago. How the hell do I get out? This one's as lost as me. Let's try this way. Yeah, this is where we came in. Right, we've left the estate behind. Now we're heading back into Waltham Abbey. Have you ever seen a massive wine bottle on a trailer before? <laughs> well, that is a first. It's everything I want, an alley and a town centre. But I just spotted something in here. Look at that. It's a Vauxhall. That is a Vauxhall. What a beaut. Ah, a bit of a shopping street. Okay. Past the Angel Pub. Still open, by the way. And very noisy. Proper Londoners here. A shouty geezer up ahead. Pie and mash shop with jellied and hot eels. That's about as traditional London as it gets. Stewed eels, pie and mash, jellied eels, pie and mash. Come on. Proper geezers here. If this place ain't full of criminals, I don't know what is. <laughs> Man, I tell you, this is true Essex. All right, there's the Abbey. We are getting out of here. It's goodbye to Waltham Abbey. See the Abbey. There's back through the high street, past the youth. Let's head out of here. Bye, Waltham Abbey. You were fun. Right, we'll just film a little bit of the way home. I'll go a bit of an alternative route, as usual, and then we'll wind it up as we get close. It's a bit close, Mr. Policeman. We are riding alongside the Lee Valley Canal. Look at that, looks really quite nice. It would be nice to have one of these as a summer home, to be honest. Maybe not this one. Or that one. Oh, this is a bit steep. Excuse me, moi. Thank you very much. Geezers. This is quite nice, I guess. You've got your pylon, plugged straight into the electricity. Okay. Free power, 182,000 volts. Fishing lads. Well, tonight we've done a bit of an explore of the Walthams. Do you have a favorite? When you next come to London on your visit, are you going to come to Waltham Cross or Waltham Abbey? 
Old Waltham Stowe. We haven't been there yet, but it's on the cards. All these people relaxing. <laughs> Real life crusties having a great time. Good on them. Well, I've got to say, this has been a bit of an unexpected treat. I did not expect to enjoy this quite so much tonight. Told you a little bit about the history. Oh man, Blech. Had some flies on the way home. Whew. Right. That's the end of the canal stuff. How do I get out? This way. Hey, hang on. Am I going to make these lights? Yes! Speed and power! Got to run the gauntlet here. This is the wrong side of the tracks. We got us a traffic jam. Let's join the bikes up here. By the railway in. Is that it? Yes. So we do it. If you like this sort of wacky content, feel free to subscribe, give it a like, make the odd comment. There's plenty more back alleys where this one came from, I tell you. Oh God, what am I doing with my life? <laughs>